What has a company done to lose your business forever? Bank of America, assholes charged me a monthly fee for having less than a thousand bucks in my student account, as a 14 year old. Talked to the teller, got it reversed. Next month, got charged again. Talked to the same teller. Reversed again. Charged, talked to a guy at a desk. Charged, talked to the manager. Charged, called corporate. Charged. Left. Edit, sorry for the confusion, folks. I'm not sure exactly what class of account it was, may have been a children's savings or something, but it wasn't supposed to have a minimum balance, whatever it was. HSBC Bank. Had a student checking account that was zero fee. I was surprised to see a $7 maintenance fee in June and July. Went in to ask what the deal was and was told well since there are no classes during those months you aren't technically a student. It's so stupid it's comical. Regions Bank started charging me $10 per month because I kept a balance of under $2,000 in my checking account. I explained, you're charging me at least 6% on money that I'm lending to you. I shut all my accounts and moved the balances to a small local bank. I'm just starting to realize that monthly account fees aren't the norm everywhere in North America. I've been paying $10 a month to keep a checking account for 16 years skeptical. I stopped going to a dentist office when not once, but twice they scheduled my appointment at the same time everybody took their lunch break. Locked doors, wouldn't answer phone calls. Had me standing there waiting for 30 minutes each time, I thought of leaving but really couldn't afford to reschedule. After the second time I never went back. I might sound stupid for allowing them to schedule me for the same time twice but they assured me they'd be there. Lenovo. They pre-installed their laptops and devices with malware. They were caught, then they did it again. Ducked their customer service. Failed to honor their international warranty and left me with a broken laptop after running me around for months. Useless cunts. I was caught in a battery recall, Lenovo sent me the wrong replacement, then spent the next 8 weeks. 30 emails, 2 hours on the phone basically telling me to get stuffed. Had to buy a replacement myself. My last two laptop purchases were Lenovo but I'm done with them forever. Comcast. Left on deployment. 6 months and I get letter mail that says my account has been terminated and I had 30 days to return the modem, I got that letter 2 months after the 30 day mark. Got a $350 charge to cover modem. WE it happens in the military. Get back three months later to find they kept billing me for the entire time I was gone even after terminating my account. Then they deleted my account, all info on me, claimed I never had an account with them, then sold my debt to a collections agency over the $350 modem that I was already charged for and already returned. They kept this up for three years trying to get more money. American Airlines. In 1986 an arrogant check-in agent intentionally caused me to miss a flight. It cost me a ton of FF miles to get back last minute for the holidays. Since then I've flown about 500,000 miles. Not a single one on American. There's a local Chinese buffet that my wife and I have sworn never to go to again. After their food began to get worse and worse, we didn't have huge expectations, but it was a reasonably priced buffet for when we wanted something quick and easy, but the last straw broke one particular day. After the all right food and only having our drinks refilled once, we went to pay at the front because our server just wasn't coming by at all. As soon as we started to get up, we saw her make a mad dash to take my card and pay that way instead of going to the front. While we waited, my wife left a $2 tip, $1 for each of us, since the food and service weren't great. When the server got back, she was reluctant to give me my card back, she wasn't letting go easily when she saw the small tip and actually took my wife by the arm and asked why there wasn't a bigger tip, and was incredibly rude while doing so. I wound up pulling my card forcibly from her and loudly telling her we were leaving and not coming back, and we haven't been back since. Wells Fargo opening accounts without consent. Duck them. Yes. And they got away with it, won their court battle. But. How? Adobe. Making people have to subscribe and pay monthly. I cancelled, it was supposed to expire, it didn't. When I complained, they said okay they'll cancel if I pay the $100 cancellation fee. I disputed with bank and won. Norton, their antivirus software gave me a virus. McAfee. Their antivirus crashed my computer by deleting important files. Corporate was less than helpful. Duck them. Comcast, 
shitty customer service and internet for an absurd price. Seconded. Cable is glitchy AF, internet connection drops, price per month for a few of my friends is $200 a month, trying to get them on the phone and actually receiving a solution to your problem takes forever, if at all. The only aspect of their company that is worth a shit is their Twitter tech support. Otherwise, it's a piss poor company. A local, highly recommended optometrist. After going back and forth about how my prescription was incorrect because her new computerized eye checking machine thing told her so, and my explaining that I couldn't see as well with the test contacts she had provided, couldn't read the top line of the chart, she told me I'd get used to it and then walked out of the room. Her assistant then came in, got flustered when I took the new contacts out and pitched them. I paid the 100 bucks for these exam told the receptionist I wouldn't be ordering contacts and would not be scheduling a follow-up because I was heading immediately to Walmart to get a proper prescription. Walmart was busy, but saw me immediately without an appointment because I was unable to drive without contacts, lost my glasses, got me a prescription that worked, and had me out the door happy in under an hour, and for 60 bucks. Ticketmaster. Actually have not been to a concert in years. Bought tickets to see Sigaros, had no idea they were going on tour, this was a few years ago. Turns out Ticketmaster ducked up and they weren't on tour but it was the lead singer's side project, wasn't a fan of it. I called in for 30 minutes I had a customer service agent tell me I was wrong and even started to yell at me. I was told there would be no refund, at all. After I hang the phone up I look at the site and it was changed and I still had to pay. Duck Ticketmaster forever. One time I ordered reserved parking on Ticketfly. Went to the venue. There is no parking. $10 wasted. Best Buy, after purchasing the most expensive laptop in the store, an employee had to unbox it for some reason. In the middle of doing so, he walked off. 20 minutes later, I asked a manager, hey, where did the guy go that was helping me? Manager said, oh he went on break. I was like WTF are you kidding me? So, finally someone else finishes whatever this guy was doing. Then while leaving they unbox it again to make sure I didn't put a cheaper one in the box I guess. Screw Best Buy. I only buy online now. I will never own another Dodge. We owned a Dodge Caravan, and it was absolutely the biggest piece of shit imaginable. It was nothing but problem after problem. Transmission, electrical system, steering, you name it. Near the end, we owned it for 6 years, the rear right window fell off. It just decided it had had enough and just fell off. Owning a Honda afterwards was like a dream come true. Dodge, the hint is in the name. To dodge as in to avoid. Dodge duck dip dive and dodge. Tour publishing. They cut the final chapter out of the e-book release of the final book in a trilogy to make it a bonus chapter for the physical release that just happened to tie up half the plot threads the other chapter hadn't cleared up. All to push hardcover slash paperback and decrease drive for e-books. I've not given them my business since. It was such a dick move. Jesus. That would really piss me off. It's not even like there's anyone to call about that. You're just screwed. United Airlines. I called to change my flight to one a day earlier to be on the flight with a colleague. I even read the ticket agent the flight number and times and everything. Got to the airport and they're like sorry your ticket is for tomorrow. You had one job people. Really? I had no rental car no hotel and they treated me like it was my fault. Many managers later I was on the damn flight but I swear they put me in a sensory deprivation seat. No magazines, no barf bag, not even a safety card in the pocket. And the flight attendant gave me the evil eye the entire flight. The icing on the cake was they charged me $250 for the change. When I got home to deal with it they said to fax my complaint. Well I faxed alright. I waited 30 days with no reply and nobody on the phone who could help so I ducking fax that request 3x a day every day for a month. Guess what? No reply ever. So I donated all my miles to some charity and have never flown them again. I even told the company I worked for to never ever book me on Yule. I'm sure they give a duck that they lost the meager revenue I would have provided. Thanks Reddit for giving me a platform 15 years after the fact to spread the good cheer. When Verizon was giving a bigger phone discount to anyone who switched to them than me, a paying customer for over 5 years. All I wanted to do was upgrade my 3 year old phone. I know it's just the way phone companies work but I was young and pissed off about it at the time. Just because that's how companies work doesn't mean you can't or shouldn't be mad about it. It stuck up. 
Uber lost my business to Lyft forever. Just a few months ago, I had someone drive right by me in the Uber and cancel the trip, which cost me like 20 minutes of waiting. Okay then. The first two replacements waited 5 minutes and then cancelled the trip. The last replacement sat completely still and they would not move, but Uber was going to charge me even after waiting another 20 minutes for cancelling that trip. After an hour of waiting it finally let me cancel, which I wrote up a complaint about that and the whole service pretty much treating me like shit. Their response was basically we didn't charge you, so what are you complaining about? I will never use Uber again. It took me 3 minutes to get in a lift that day and get me headed to where I needed to be, and Uber cost me around an hour and a half of an expensive convention. Duck Uber. Newg. Sold me a computer that didn't start, and refused at first to refund my money. It took several emails and phone calls to convince them, the computer you made me send back, indeed does not start, and I don't want it back, I want my money back. They did eventually, but I'll never buy from them again. I don't want to go through that hassle again if another product is defective. Newig has been a part of some Chinese conglomerate for years. Definitely steer clear of Newig. Hired me, so now I know WTF they're up to and I don't like it. Well now I'm curious. Retail place. Uck. They pay my bills, and I do the best job I can, but I shop elsewhere. GameStop. I just hated how they would abuse the fact they were a monopoly before Amazon and digital downloads became a thing. I'm a supervisor for a local GameStop and the main thing I teach my employees is to not lie, and to treat my customers like human beings, not a brick wall to talk about all the deals and savings they'll get by going pro but to only mention it if they honestly spend a lot of money here, then they could actually legitimately save. And if I don't have something, I send them to a local comic book shop who does. My district manager hates me but I don't give a shit. I still bring in money and my customers are happy to have someone treat them with respect. I'm sorry for my company's awful nature. Deliveroo. Their first marketing campaign round my way was to put little do not disturb style hangers on people's front doors. On the first week of the summer holidays. Big ol' rob me signs all the way up the street for weeks. A local game store used to be awesome until new management that was crooked AF. I got two new games that were wrapped clumsily in some cheap saran wrap. When I opened them, the discs were scratched up garbage. I decided to drop $60 on another new game to let them know I'm onto their game. I opened it right in front of the worker and revealed a big ass gauge on the bottom of the disc. I asked him for my money back and he offered me store credit. After getting into an argument with the manager and letting everyone in the store know Hess ripping them off, I got kicked out. I sure showed them. I recently made an appointment at a salon to get my hair cut. A little backstory, I have gone to the same stylist for over 4 years. She had a baby several months ago and decided to get a more stable income job. So, I call and make an appointment. I arrive for the appointment, a little early, and I wait for her to get there. The lights are still off and the door is locked. It's a cold and rainy morning and I'm standing outside for 15 minutes before I try to call the lady. No answer. So, I leave. TLDR Salon makes me an appointment and then doesn't show up for it. Not an entire business, but a specific store. I was shopping for Christmas gifts the week before Christmas a few years ago. I am chubby, I wear standard dress sizes, but they are on the larger end of the range. I was shopping for a sweater for my tiny grandmother in the petite section of the store. A sales lady who had ignored me to this point followed me into the petite section like she was trying to stop me. She hastily informed me miss. This is the petite section, for small women. I looked at her and said I understand what petite means. I was shopping for a gift. Sometimes large people have small relatives. I handed her the gifts I had already selected and walked out. I used to shop at that store all the time, but I haven't been back since. Reebok, purely for their deal with the UFC. I'm a huge MMA fan, and the Reebok deal was so shitty it's not even funny. In an attempt to professionalize, their words, not mine, the UFC, they made a deal where fighters could only wear Reebok gear basically at all times and had to cancel all former sponsorships. Basically this just resulted in all the product placement during fights getting moved from the fighters trunks to the floor and posts of the octagon, meaning the fighters got paid zero for it. Some guys who had six-figure sponsorships, per fight, were now getting paid $2,500 per fight instead. They also made tons of mistakes on the fight kits, basically jerseys, that they sold on their website, 
like spelling champion fighters' names wrong and listing female fighters as men. Seriously, Duck Reebok. Dumped 4.9 million barrels of crude petroleum into the Gulf of Mexico. I've been driving on fumes, white knuckle gripping the steering wheel, and passed by a BP station to get to another gas station. I won't go to BP. A local gym. I went in to cancel my wife and I's membership. I did so after the initial year, and during the 10 day window, or something ridiculous, I had to do so each year without penalty. Amazingly, I was still being charged for a membership the next month. Called them and was told I had specifically only cancelled one membership, and had therefore missed the window for cancelling the other. It would be $200 to cancel now. I tried to be polite and ask for details, but the person on the phone was incredibly rude and more or less told me there was nothing I can do except send them the money. Went in person thinking that this was just a misunderstanding, and got the same treatment. At that point I was getting a bit pissed, so sent a registered letter requesting all copies of all documents they had regarding my contract. Got a call from the owner of the gym where she cursed at me and said they would let me out of the contract since they are nice people. Sixth rental car. I need a rental for my four day Memorial Day weekend, Friday to Monday. I called them on Monday to ask if they would have any I could rent on those dates. She said no way, it's too late, they're all booked up for the holiday. Hey, fair enough. That's pretty much what I expected given the short notice. But she didn't leave it at that. She said I could rent a car from Wednesday to Monday, which would encompass that weekend but I would have it for two extra days I didn't need. So, wait, what the duck? Riddle me this, how can you have no cars available Friday to Monday, but have one available Wednesday to Monday? I asked her this and she kept saying there's no cars available those dates like I was a ducking retard for not understanding. Keep in mind it wasn't that there was some sort of minimum rental period for the weekend that she wasn't explaining well. She was unambiguously saying that there's no cars. But there's a car, she just won't let me rent it if I don't want it until Friday. I'm not crazy, right? That really makes no sense, right? Thanks for listening to another episode of Redditex. Subscribe and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any stories. Feel free to share your own stories below in the comments. Have a good day.